I'm very happy to say to a D&D Beyond dev update. And not just any dev update, because today we are celebrating the launch of the alpha version of a new feature called Maps. Yeah. <laughs> So let's talk about it, a little about how Maps fits into where D&D Beyond is headed, and then let's dig in and play with it. Joining me to do this are three of my wonderful colleagues who work on D&D Beyond. Dave, would you please introduce yourselves and tell us what you do here? Yes, uh, absolutely. So uh, Dave Hartless, uh, I'm a director of engineering uh, for D&D Beyond and part of the original team that helped start D&D uh, &D Beyond uh, six years ago. My name is Marjorie Lehman, and I am the Vice President of Product and Tech for D&D &D Beyond. I am Elliot Spilk. I am the Associate Product Manager on D&D &D Beyond, and I own the end-to-end -end experience for Dungeon Masters. We have some cool news to get into. So, Dave, what is MAPS? MAPS is a new feature that we're bringing to the product uh, that we've wanted to do for quite a while at this point. Uh, that allows users to visualize their play experience outside of theater of the mind because different players play different ways. The way we're going to roll this out uh, in alpha is uh, master tier subscribers can enable this feature for their campaigns and their players. Excellent. And any registered user, of course, can be playing in those campaigns uh, as we start to move forward with this alpha release. But Elliot, what does it mean to be an alpha release? And what does that mean for us? We are extremely excited for this launch and have been working really hard on it. And we are at a point where we are currently playing it on turn internally, having lots of fun with it. And it's at a place where we feel that others can join as well. It is an alpha, so we definitely want to hear people's feedback. And we also know that it is launching with some bugs and potentially some performance issues. So our intent is to slowly roll this out to people and just get people playing on it. And we will be committed to a full roadmap that we are sharing with our public of what our fast follows are and the features that we know are also very critical to this type of experience. Amazing. So speaking of that roadmap and forward motion, where are we headed from maps, Marjorie? So, you know, today DDB is really player focused. We've got our character creation, we've got our playable sheet, and we've got our pre-made characters that we released earlier this year. So we've been very focused on the player experience. And it's time to start building for the Dungeon Masters. And so this maps is the start of that journey of where you're going to see more investment um, into DM tools and functionality because we want to make it really simple for them to prep for and run a game. I also want to call out, though, that with the release of maps, it also means that we're making this commitment to release all our future D&D content in maps. Excellent. So we'll get all the new stuff with Jump Into Maps right away. And we're going to be filling in a backlog so our launch slate will be growing and growing. Exactly. Exactly. Amazing. Who can jump in right now and start playing with maps? So all of our master tier subscribers can come in and create a game using our new map features and bring in all of their players from their campaigns into that experience. We feel that our master tier subscription is really leveraged more toward the DM experience that we want to build on D&D &D Beyond and where our hero tier subscription is more toward our player and player character experience. Fantastic. And anyone can make a free account and play in those games. Oh, this is so exciting. We also, I remember seeing some beautiful glimpses of our 3D VTT that's coming earlier this year. And some folks have been playing it all summer. Is that still coming? Yes, our 3D VTT is still coming and we are super excited about it. And we believe by providing, you know, both maps as well as our 3D VTT, we're building this ecosystem that's allowing our fans to choose how and, and where they want to play. And so let me give you an example of how that ecosystem works, right? You've seen the people on YouTube who are doing the play test for the, the 3D VTT, and they're talking about how they're bringing in the character from D&D Beyond and playing it, which is pretty cool to see. And so with maps, what you're going to see is fans are bringing in their D&D &D Beyond characters onto maps and playing. And then the next day, they may take the same character and 
be playing it in the 3D VTT. And then the next day, they may be going over their friend's house and sitting around the table and playing again with the same character through their, you know, mobile app, or they're playing just on pen and paper, you know, like all of these different ways are exactly, you know, letting us build that flexibility for fans, you know, let them choose how and where that they want to play. And these integrated solutions is what's letting us do that. I love that. There are so many ways to play. And speaking of which, what does this mean for some of the other great ways to play like the other VTTs out there? Yeah, so, you know, we are committed to offering our D&D content wherever our fans want it. And we have great partners and we're happy with them. And we think this is just, again, giving players another choice of where they want to play. Now, our esteemed colleague Joe Starr would never forgive me if I failed to point out that this is the mullet of dev updates because it is business in front and party in the back. <laughs> so enough talk, let's get into it. Elliot, how do we start playing with maps? All right, well, uh, let me do a quick fun demo and we will jump right in. I am extremely excited to share this. So the way people will access this is through our discovery page. We will have various ways to get to this link either from the home page under our tools tab in the mega menu, as well as players can get to it from their character sheets so long as their dungeon master has a master tier subscription and is ready to play. So without further ado, this is our discovery page where you can quickly just pick a game that you already have. In this case, I'm gonna pick our maps alpha game and hit go. Before I do that, I want to show you some other really cool parts of this page, which is it tells you some information about what Maps actually is. It also shows you a quick link to get to our Zendesk FAQ portal, which is managed by our fantastic customer care team, as well as our user feedback. And as I mentioned earlier, our roadmap. So this shows everything that we are committed to working on as fast follows and the rest of the year as we improve and involve this tool, as well as considering and hearing people's feedback of how to proceed. So jumping right in, here we go. I've picked my campaign, I'm ready to go. So as you can tell, this is already the Dungeon Master view and I already have a map set up. This is the Goblin Ambush from the first, yeah, first, hold on. first encounter. Is oh. this from today's brand new and extremely cool adventure book, Fandelver and Below the Shattered Obelisk? It is, Amy. We are so excited that we are launching with full support of Fandelver and Below the Shattered Obelisk. And yes, day. this is the <laughs> Goblin Ambush. Sorry, players. Spoilers. Elliot, this is so cool. Now, okay, how did you do this? So I selected a map from the map browser which is a DM exclusive tool. Not all these tools are for DMs. Some are just for players and some are for DMs. The map, the map browser is for DMs. So from here, you will see we have a menu where you can select your uploaded maps, some basic maps. Ooh, what's in the basic maps? Our basic maps are ways to just quickly jump in and start playing on an environmental map. With these, you could quickly jump in, put some tokens down and start playing. We also have the various sources that we are launching with today, which is Big B Presents, Glory of the Giants, Dragons of Stormwreck Isle, Giants of the Starforge, a companion adventure to Big B Presents, Keys from the Golden Vault, and of course today's Fandelver and Below, the Shattered Obelisk. Just for me, from my understanding, our three options right now are you can use a map that you own from your content library based on the ones that have been added, which will be growing over time. Uh, you can use a set of basic maps or you can upload your own map. And I can do this with my own terrible graph paper maps or whatever. Yes, absolutely. You could literally take a picture with your phone of a map that you drew yourself, get it into your computer in some way or form and upload it here. I will click the upload map button. I will give it a name. And then I will either click here to upload a map or I can also drag one across. I will pick another cat. <laughs> and now we get to token scale. What this is, is the ability to use a medium sized creature token to scale 
the rest of your other tokens on an image that would be your map. As you can see, I'm using a picture of a cat. You could do this for a map with grid lines, with a map without grid lines, a picture of space, or in this case, a cat. And so Elliot, if that bookshelf correctly. thing was a grid, we would just be setting the size here, right? Correct. Let's say we want this token to be the size of the cat's eye. Boom. There we go. I've lined it up. I'm going to hit save. Little monocle right there, right? Uh, and now I'm going to add it to this campaign. Here it is. We're going to select it. And here we go. As I add players again, they should be the size of that cat's eye. Here's Vidanya. So this cat has a little Vidanya monocle. And if we were to add our other players, you can see they're the same size. We can also add monsters. Let's go with a dragon. The adult red dragon. Aha, you see, it is bigger than the other ones. Let's go with something even larger. How about a Tarrasque? Here we go, even bigger. We can also, of course, Why am I excited? The Tarrasque is going to kill us. <laughs> She didn't is have not to do anything. You. Just the automatically came in huge. <laughs> Here is a tiny imp. Whoop, there it is. It's even smaller than the other one. And that is an example of how you can use token scaling to get your game tokens onto any image at the size you would like and quickly just jump into play. So here is the goblin ambush that we saw earlier. And I'm just going to do it again really quick by opening the browser, getting over to Fandelver Shatter Obelisk, picking the correct map. As you will see, we've also added the DM versions as well as the player versions. It's been re-added over here. I'm going to click it. And here we go. So there are many ways to approach this now. You could go by instantly adding Fog of War covering all, revealing all, covering, and then erasing as necessary. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. We're here, okay, hold on. I gotta get me in here right now. Everybody, let's add our character tokens, please. I'll move it over here. <laughs> and something you'll notice is that tokens come out of the token browser. So we have monsters, players, and of course, companions, if your character has a cool pet. Dave, add that Tyrannosaurus <laughs> Rex, please. <laughs> oh. And just it's like huge. that. It's just going to eat my little token. <laughs> it's on our side. We're good. This is great. It is indeed huge because, of course, <laughs> is upset, ex acknowledging the game data and leveraging the token scaling technology. So neat. Can you show us, uh, because I have total invisibility where, where your fog is. Can you show us some changes there? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, let me also drop some of my monster tokens first. Let's get some goblins. No, in no monsters. We're winning. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to show real quick how when you drop a token, it drops at the center of your camera. So if I want to drop a monster behind fog, I want to make sure that my camera is really centered on that fog so that I don't accidentally show you before I'm ready. What goblins? But now, I can't see any goblins. I am ready. Oh, well, let's remove some fog. And you can see. So as your perception check oh, is no. very successful, <laughs> you don't really hear them, but you can absolutely smell them somewhere above you in the upper ridges of the tree line are two hidden goblins, or I guess not so hidden. And also, for some reason, there's clearly still a T-Rex here. Uh, let's get rid of that. We're just going to click on it and hit delete. Just like that, it's gone. So, Elliot, uh, it looks like we have some goblins. Is there something? Can I just sneak on out of here? I don't, I don't uh, see any goblins. Yeah, absolutely. Why don't you go ahead and give me a stealth check? Let's see. I have, of course, nabbed one of our new Baldur's Gate 3 pre-made characters. So I am playing uh, <clears throat> not Shadowheart, uh, Valindra today. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And she is going to try to sneak her way out of here. Not exactly her strong suit. So let's see how it goes. Roll it. 
excellent for someone who isn't so sneaky. Yeah, these goblins are clearly too distracted. Um, that smell I mentioned before is either something they're cooking or something they probably should have cooked maybe a little bit less. Uh, and they are just completely unaware of you slinking away. As you can see, we have implemented our game log into this view as well so that roles that are rolled from the character sheet or the combat tracker will be observed into this space. And while I mentioned earlier that the uh, first goblins have not noticed you, unfortunately, another set of goblins do spot you. And you hear one of them yell, Briak! Which, of course, is attack in Goblin. And with that, I think that we should all roll initiative. With that, Danya, you are up. What would you like to do? I am going to use my longbow and a, attack one of these goblins. Okay, which one do you want to go for? Um, hmm, one one look, looking like the most aggressive here. Let's go with the uh, bottom front one. Oh, I can move it here. You won't like it, but here it is. Okay, that's fine. For <laughs> now, that works until we have a pointer functionality coming soon. All right, you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Let's Roll go. the hit. Oh, 14. A 14, unfortunately, will not Ugh. hit these goblins. They Dang are it. sneaky up in the trees. Belindra is next. Okay, now, you know what? I saw that bow shot go, and I think that's a great call. Um, I don't have a very clear angle right now, so I'm just going to scoot over here a uh, little bit over, and I'm going to go ahead and maybe try to take this goblin with some sacred flame. Sacred flame, Ooh. I love it. <laughs> your hand just palms with fire and <laughs> you blast this goblin right in the face <laughs> uh, and uh, you hear him say that one uses magic go for that one fast Corvum you are up the goblins are next great job Alindra Corvum sees the goblins coming out of the tree line and brings up his arm and you see the purple runes down his arm and he says Benedictus Udo and you three see three purple beams shoot out of his arm into the goblins Elders Blast are you sure you want to do this? yes I do 16 hits as does a 17 and as does a 15 they all blast the goblins gah, 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 gah. and you actually uh, take out the one that was blasted by the sacred flame and you knock out two others but unfortunately Corvum you have tapped into magic that your deity has not allowed and Orcus oh. arrives on the scene <laughs> oh, no. and says for this troubles I take from you one of your others and just like that Valindra is transported to a realm where you will be in the clutches <laughs> of the evil cat and the Tyrannosaurus Rex is back to torment you forever. Oh, I'm on a cat. I'm on a cat <laughs> cattle field. <laughs> and that is maps. Jump in there and start messing around right now. It is designed to be easy and user friendly. If you want to run some games on maps for your friends and you are not a master tier subscriber, you can grab a free trial and anyone with a free D&D Beyond account can play. If you want to share your feedback as the alpha goes forward, if you want to make sure you're getting all the updates, and if you want some more info about some frequently asked questions on maps, all of that information is at the links in the description along with how to get straight into maps so head there right now thank you for watching thank you to my dev update guests thank you. thank you thank you for watching let us know your feedback and have fun playing the D, &D beyond maps alpha starts today now all of you help we're in a cattle field and we have a fight to win <laughs>